Hello, I hope you're all doing well. You join me over nine hours away from home on the northeast tip of Scotland. Behind me are some epic views and in front of me is our next project and it's going to be a good one. It's a 400 year old castle. There's no heating in it at the minute. We've been contracted to sort the heating out and we're installing an air source heat pump. Others have said it can't be done, but we're here and we're going to do it. Phase one is to get heating on ready for winter. We came up yesterday with all the guys from Global Energy, two HGVs with all the equipment in, two Volkswagen Crafter vans, and we're cracking on. I can't show you the house at the minute, the customers are VIP, so I've got to be careful what I show you. I am allowed to show you the heat pump, I'm allowed to show you the plant room, the distribution system, and all the nuts and bolts of the install. Can't show you the house at the minute. At some point in the future, fingers crossed I can. Don't miss this one, it's gonna be a good one. So please do like and subscribe. And I tell you what, if I get this wrong, looking at that place, I could be hung, drawn and quartered. So wish us luck. So we're now in the plant room at the castle and I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of the layout of it. We're obviously still setting it out at the minute and deciding what way we're gonna go with it. We have got a thousand litre of domestic hot water storage and a thousand litre buffer. This does have a baffle plate in the buffer um, to, to, to make sure it stratifies and to stop distortion. So it's a really tall buffer and you can balance them well so you don't get that mixing. Um, but because it is, the, the unit that I'm gonna show you in a second outside is a Global Energy 80 kilowatt um, Lincoln unit and it is uh, got two compressors in it so it can go 100% or 50% so it's minimum modulation is 40 kilowatts you need a good buffer tank to uh, make sure you don't have cycling but as long as we balance it right make sure it doesn't mix we can get uh, good stratification and, and keep our cops high so yeah we're uh, obviously getting bracketry across the back cable trays etc pipe work this thousand litre buffer tank we can't have a coil big enough in it to take that 80 kilowatts of heat. So what we've had to do is have a plate to plate heat exchanger. Ultimately we're plate loading the cylinder. So we've got this big heat exchanger. It's an Alpha Lavelle heat exchanger. Um, Alpha Lavelle have a really good tool on their website. And if you're a partner of them, you can, you can size your own heat exchangers essentially. And they just bolt them together. I like them specifically because you can strip them down for servicing and give them a good clean out. Um, as the years pass on. We've got a two inch Belimo diverter valve there. So one side will go straight to the buffer. The other will come into the Alpha Lavelle heat exchanger. And then we'll have a flow and return from that direct into the hot water tank. So because that is um, fresh potable water, essentially uh, oxygenated water, um, we will have a stainless steel Grumfoss um, pump um, on this secondary side pumping round there. But there you go. Uh, I'll just nip outside quickly. Like I say, I've got to be careful where we film. So I shall just turn you on to me so you can see the heat pump itself. So that's the unit there. It does exhaust, it's cold air around the top. So we can get away with this um, lattice fence uh, for the air intake because you, your air ultimately comes in. You've got two evaporators on this unit. So you've, got, you've almost got two refrigeration circuits. You've got two evaporators, two compressors, two fans. Uh, but they do work in conjunction. They go into the same heat exchanger, but the two separate circuits. So you can go, you can almost split your load. You can go 100% or 50%. So because the cold air is going out the top, your clearances can be uh, on the air, air inside can be a bit closer because it gets rid of that cold air. It ejects it really far up. Anyway, there you go. 80 kilowatt unit at minus three. Um, not a lot else to say about this at the moment. Sam's around the back lagging the pipe work. We, um, I, I did ask Dave at Primary Pro for some Primary Pro, but they don't make it big enough at the minute, but I'm sure that will be coming soon for us guys that do bigger stuff. So we are using the uh, Cool Therm foil insulation, which we will um, either rubber, bound, rubber bind it and seal it to protect it from uh, the weather. So yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's where we're at, a lot of work to do. Uh, I'll just nip over and show you the uh, holes that we've had to do. The walls are mega thick here, as you can imagine, with it being a castle. So we had to hire some specialist equipment to, uh, to do the holes through into it. Cheers. So this is where we're going to take the pipe work into the castle. And if you look, hopefully you guys can see through that hole, we have got 1,200 um, 1 1.2 meters of wall thickness. So what we did was we hired a, a core drill, um, which we bolt to the wall, 
and it, it's like an automatic feed uh, core drill. You bolt it to, to the wall, it's got a little motor on it and, and it sits there and drills itself essentially. Um, so yeah, there you go. So we've got to get from the plant room, which is over here, all the way across into the actual castle itself.